Okay, thank you for the introduction. So today I'm going to talk, I'm going to describe our work uh, on how to estimate heart rate from face videos using self-adaptive uh, matrix completion method. And, uh, uh, well, this is a joint work with uh, our colleagues from these institutions. And I'm ha very happy to present this work today. So, uh, not many people know that it, it's actually possible to recognize heart rate from a face video and to give you a quick introduction of why it works and how it works, I'll, I'll uh, spend some time. So, uh, well, um, like a normal regime, uh, the heart passes through one state, uh, from one state uh, to another, and these states are called uh, PQRST and they are uh, visible uh, in uh, ECG waveform. Uh, and recently it has been shown that uh, there is some heart rate dynamics in, uh, in a face video like here. And when the situation is, uh, un is constrained like here, this is my face, I'm not moving, not breathing, not smiling, not talking, not doing anything, if we combine those two, uh, those two channels, we see that the underlying heart rate dynamics is preserved and uh, this has been exploited by many, many uh, works in the literature uh, using different methods. Uh, so, uh, but uh, th the thing is that if we go from uh, laboratory settings where people are not moving, not talking, to a more unconstrained condition, uh, conditions like in this uh, video, we see that the uh, error, the noise uh, uh, that is caused by motions, uh, uh, and facial expression propagates through the uh, pipeline and uh, the final signal gets contaminated with the uh, uh, with this noise and making it difficult to uh, to recognize heart rate so basically what people propose to do in this situation is to to cut uh, the signal and to be honest that that of course helps and uh, uh, yeah you, you can you can remove the noise this way but what if you want to recognize the heart rate specifically in these regions or what if you're interested in short-term or instantaneous heart rate, not the average heart rate over a long uh, sequence. So, and uh, this is the purpose of uh, this work basically to allow uh, heart rate estimation from videos that are uh, unconstrained. And the main motivation uh, behind this work is that uh, basically everything is inside the face. So all the motions, all the lighting, and all kind of source of information that we need is, is in the face. So on this graph on the left you can see uh, different uh, face regions. And uh, the graph shows what dynamics these regions have uh, over time when a person is uh, showing some facial expression or motions. And as you can see here, for example, the uh, uh, the orange uh, rectangle is has more noise than the green one, and uh, this can be seen throughout the whole uh, uh, sequence. So uh, that is uh, uh, why our idea is to jointly estimate the heart rate signal and to select the most reliable phase region that contain uh, uh, less noise. So to do that, uh, we track 66 points uh, using intraface, then we crop face and uh, we warp it so that pixel on the neighboring frames are uh, have a uh, temporal consistency. And after that we compute normalized uh, uh, features and uh, these features uh, then uh, constitute our observation matrix. Uh, like this. So basically this matrix is the number of uh, regions uh, and times uh, number of uh, time steps, uh, basically number of frames in the video. And uh, uh, since we use matrix completion in this uh, work, uh, now I want to give you a brief uh, overview of uh, what is a classical matrix uh, completion formulation. So uh, the idea is that uh, having an observation matrix and having a mask, uh, uh, we want to estimate a low rank matrix that uh, uh, basically that uh, contains all the values that are absent in the observation matrix. And uh, these values are defined by the mask. So basically empty values in the mask are either unknown or they're noisy and we want to get rid of them. So, and we, we do this by, uh, people usually do this by uh, minimizing the following uh, 
cost uh, and uh, we basically minimizing the nuclear norm and uh, we have a mask which is uh, element wise multiplied with the uh, this uh, expression so basically we are selecting the pixels that we believe in so but the the idea is that the mask is fixed so it, it has been it has to be defined uh, before uh, while our idea is to uh, to jointly estimate the mask and the observation matrix so uh, in in this way so we want to get estimated mask and low rank matrix and we uh, to do that we uh, jointly solve for ENM we add some uh, terms basically this term um, adds some temporal smoothing which um, uh, defines uh, which works similarly to band pass filtering since we know the uh, the bandwidth of uh, desired of possible heart uh, heart rate uh, frequencies then we add anti-sparsity term that uh, uh, tells our method to select as many regions as is possible so we want to have um, lots of regions uh, to be selected and then we want uh, the prior mask to be similar to the estimated mask and also it uh, um, solves for uh, trivial solutions in this case so when we have this uh, uh, low rank matrix, uh, what we do, we compute a singular value decomposition and uh, take a vector associated with the largest singular value and then perform a, a power spectral density estimation uh, from this signal to, to go from a one, uh, to, to go from big long signal to one number which is heart rate. So this is the method, uh, a quick overview of the method, and now I want to talk a little bit about the results. So previously in the literature, uh, there was uh, this, there is this Mahnob HDI dataset uh, that contains a heart rate uh, ground truth, and as you can see, the person has this hat that measures EEG, and basically the situation is constrained, uh, and uh, there are no not many motions. Uh, expressions etc so and uh, that is why um, as you can see that a recent method saturate so it's the, the data set the method saturate on this uh, on this data set so although our method shows a uh, higher performance but it's just a little bit higher whereas if you go to our more uh, unconstrained scenarios such as this data set as you can see this girl is she's experiencing fear and uh, well they do it by throwing darts in her face three times and you can see that from her facial expression and also there is a blue line that indicates uh, her heart rate so this data set is valuable for this kind of uh, uh, works and it will be presented tomorrow at the poster session uh, so yeah and on this difficult data set our method shows much better results because it was specifically designed for this purpose basically we select only reliable regions but while discarding the noisy ones additionally what we would like to show is that uh, we do uh, uh, short-term heart rate estimation we split a sequence into a small uh, uh, pieces like four six and eight seconds and compute it uh, compute heart rate for these short uh, uh, time windows and get better results than uh, previous works so I want to give you some idea on effect of self of self adaptation as you can see that the sparsity, the, the, the line shows the sparsity of the initial mask. As, as you can see that uh, the sparsity plays a huge role when there is no self-adaptation, while it's irrelevant when there is self-adaptation because the method always converges to the optimal mask uh, position, mask uh, state. And some uh, qualitative results. Uh, this is for short-term heart rate estimation. We split it in four seconds. And as you can see, the, uh, the green line is the ground truth. The blue line is our method that is able to follow the ground truth. And the, uh, the red is uh, the baseline, which is not able to capture the, uh, the dynamics. And uh, uh, basically, yeah, it, it computes just ever the average heart rate. And yeah, more recent. Uh, uh, video. So it's it's a real life demo of a guy giving a public speech similarly to to what I do now. So uh, yeah, as as you can see that the 
well, uh, a friend of mine uh, advised me to use post Brexit video, uh, but yeah, but I didn't dare to do that. So we're admiring pre Brexit. So yeah, by the way, I, I forgot to take my uh, smartwatch, so I, I don't know what's my heart rate now. I wanted to measure that, but I think it's uh, kind of at this uh, range. So take home message is that face contains. Uh, lots of information for heart rate analysis. We don't need to use any background and other things. Uh, the discarding noisy region helps. And uh, the method we propose is a principled way of doing that. And uh, uh, it, it shows better results for both uh, for a short term and for uh, average heart rate uh, estimation. And in future work, we, we're extending this uh, to a multimodal heart rate estimation, which includes the uh, uh, different modalities like thermal, infrared, and uh, other things that we can capture. And also, we are going to predict other physiological signals, such as uh, respiration rate and uh, other things. So yeah, I, I finished with this nice demo, and that's it.